Hello everyone, Moose Torrent here, and in this video I wanted to discuss legendary versus unique weapons in Fallout 4 and how you can get a weapon that seems like it actually has two legendary traits on it but actually only has a legendary trait and a unique modification. If you want to get one of these you'll have actually have to find a weapon with a unique modification. That'll be something like Lorenzo's Artifact. You can see under the Mods category in the bottom right corner there is a list and on top there is Lorenzo's Artifact. You see it on the tip of the gun there. Looks like a Emerald Beetle. Anyways, so that means that what gives this weapon its unique trait is actually a mod and not a legendary trait. Whereas if you look at something like the Neverending Gamma Gun with the unlimited ammo capacity, it gets the unlimited ammo capacity from the trait and not a mod itself. So what you can do is take the mod off something like Lorenzo's Artifact and put it on your legendary, in this case, Neverending Gamma Gun. You can also do this with something like uh, Krem's Tooth, because that is a legendary trait or unique modification, whatever you want to call it. As you can see here, I got the Wounding Machete. I need to rename that to, I don't know, maybe I'll name it Krem's Tooth again. <laughs> but as you can see, the mod in the bottom right corner is Sacrificial Blade, so it's going to get that Krem's Tooth ability plus 25 points of additional bleed damage, which makes it really awesome. So really all you have to do is go over to your weapons workbench. Craft it up. Go to Lorenzo's artifact gun and select standard dish instead of Lorenzo's Artifact. And that just turns it into a regular Gamma Gun. As you can see, the description on Lorenzo's Artifact is uses telekinesis to push targets away. Which is interesting, to say the least. And then you go to your never-ending never Gamma Gun, and you got Lorenzo's Artifact as an option. And now you have never-ending Lorenzo's Artifact Gun. Which is really cool. And you could also, you know, just put whatever other modifications on it you want. And you can just basically get rid of the old one. And I'll also show you um, the... You know, this was a regular machete. And I just went to it, put the Sacrificial Blade on there, which targets are bleed and poisoned and has exceptional damage. And then you get the Krem's Tooth Blade, so I think there are a couple other weapons like that out there you can do this with. And it's a really cool way to get some unique and powerful weapons in Fallout 4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.